Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain example on TCP sequence numbers. The example is, suppose a TCP connection is transferring a file of 1200 bytes. The first byte is numbered 6001. What are the sequence numbers for each segment if data are sent in 6 segments, each carrying 200 bytes? Now in this example, it is said that a file of 1200 bytes is being transferred using TCP connection. And this entire file of 1200 bytes is split into 6 TCP segments having 200 bytes each. Means the entire file of 1200 bytes is divided into 6 equal size segments carrying 200 bytes. And the first byte number is 6001. And we are supposed to write down the sequence numbers which will be carried in each of the segment. Now before actually solving the numerical, let us understand the TCP segment has header followed by data. The header is of fixed size 20 bytes with options it can be extended up to 60 bytes. And the TCP segment can be minimum of 20 bytes because header is must in the TCP segment without this header part communication is not possible because header part is meant to carry the addresses and the control information. The maximum size of TCP segment is 65535 bytes but practically it is much lesser than this because this entire TCP segment is encapsulated in the IP datagram as a network layer. Now this is the structure of TCP header. In TCP header there is a sequence number field of 32 bits. The minimum sequence number possible is 0 and the maximum value of sequence number is 2 raised to 31 minus 1. When all sequence numbers are consumed, then the sequence number wraps back to 0. And this sequence number field always mentions the initial sequence number that is the first byte number which is carried in the TCP segment. So for example, if the TCP segment is carrying the first byte number as 4001, then the sequence number field will have the number 4001. Now let us come to the example. Now as per the example we have to write down the six segments separately and mention the sequence numbers carried in each of the segment. Now segment 1 will carry the sequence numbers 6001 to 6200 because we are given that the first sequence number is 6001. The byte number, first byte number carried in the data part is 6001. So first segment will carry the sequence numbers 6001 to 6200 because each of the segment is having a size, size of 200 bytes over here. Now first segment ends at 6200. So next segment should begin at 6201 and it should end at 6400. So 6201 to 6400 are the sequence numbers carried in segment 2. When these sequence numbers are carried in segment 2, the TCP header sequence number field will have number 6201. Now segment 3 will carry sequence numbers 6401 to 6600 altogether 200 bytes. Now when these sequence numbers are carried in segment 3, the sequence number field will have the initial sequence number 6401. Segment 4 will again carry 200 bytes from 6601 to 6800. When this segment is transmitted, then the sequence number field of TCP header will have the initial sequence number 6601 because this sequence number field always carries the first byte number in the segment. Then segment 5 will also carry 200 bytes from 6801 to 7000. Altogether 200 bytes when this segment is being transmitted, the sequence number field will specify the number 6801 which is the first byte number for this segment. And finally segment 6 will carry the sequence number 7001 to 7200. Again total 200 bytes and the first sequence number will be 7001 when that segment is carried the sequence number in the header part of TCP header the sequence number in the TCP header will be 
7001 which is always the initial sequence number now this completes the example it was very simple example the file of 1200 bytes was given to us and this file was split into equal size segments and each of the segment is carrying 200 bytes and we were supposed to write down the sequence numbers carried in each of the segment thank you